What is Hip Hop Tour with BSP? It's man, E Ness. You see that chopping up, talking about hip hop. E Ness, introduce yourself, some little about yourself. It's your boy E Ness, bad boy recording artist, formerly in front of band, MTV's making a band too. You know, world renowned, all world spittage man, Philly legend. Um, you know, just, you know, a young nigga that's on his grind. Had a few couple false starts in the game. Still on my grind. You know, ever since I've been, you know, doing this music shit, I've been, I feel like I've been independent. You know what I mean? I mean, taking what I earn out here in the streets and putting it right and back into my craft and my music. So that's just a little, you know, summary of what I've been doing. But, you know, y- y'all see me all over the place. Battle arenas, going on battlegrounds, grind time. I see do my it. man battling all the time. I do you it. see him spitting. I do I deal with real rappers. Shit. That's real hip hop. I we do it. And, real... and, 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 and not to take nothing from nobody else, mm-hmm. the new wave of hip hop is good, but I come from the old school era where you had to be nice. You had to be nice. You wouldn't get nothing. Nothing would pop for you if you wasn't nice. Mm-hmm. I'm one of those cats. I'm the last, I'm one of them dinosaurs that's, that's actually nice and I actually put my, my reputation on the line. So Last of a dying breed. When we talk about hip hop, we need real spitters. And that's the question I want to ask you today. When you think of hip hop, what does hip hop mean to you next? What's hip hop to you? Hip hop is just the way you wear your clothes, the way you wear your chains, your shirt, your hat. It's a way of life, it's culture. It's not just so much the music, that's a big part of it, but it's actually what niggas do day, day to day. Playing 2K, playing the game, trapping, you know, reciting your favorite artist verse while you're doing your deli, whatever you're doing on your deli thing. It's just like, you know, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's a thought. It's a thought process and, and, and it's experience. It's not even just the music, it's not the marketing, it ain't the clothes, it's an experience. Like you got to go through something, you got to, you, got to, you know, go through life experience. That's what hip hop means to me, that's, that's the big part of it. So say, since the life experience, that's what you go through, when did you say you first fell in love with it? Was you just born with hip hop or hip hop was natural to you? Where was it? I'm an 80s baby, you know what I'm saying? I was born in the late 70s, but I'm an 80s baby. And I grew up to that era, that LL Cool J, that Rock yeah. Kim, that Big Daddy that Kane, that, that Dana yeah, Dane, yeah, that, that Slick Rick the Ruler, when niggas was storytelling, the niggas was nice, niggas was street niggas, but niggas was storytellers, you had the fly nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I come from a, a era of hip hop where it was all types of different varieties. It just wasn't the skateboard rapper or the skinny jean rapper or the gangster rapper or the pretty boy rapper. It was a, a wide range, you know, people was doing a pro black thing with the groups like um, P.E., you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, Cousin Elbow yeah, in the building. Elbow, there. You know what I mean? So, you, you a hip-hop fan too? You a hip-hop fan? Absolutely, Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. That's Absolutely, my man on camera too. Two I'm questions saying. for you. When did you first fall in love with hip-hop? I fell in love with hip-hop when I was probably about 10 years old when I first got my first you know, boombox joint with that Run DMC joint. I'll never uh-huh. forget it. That tape, uh-huh. yeah, I was in that joint till it popped. That's you know hip-hop. I grew up in this shit from Hilltop, you know what I mean? I had cousins, uh, the youngsters. I grew up around Cool C and mm-hmm. Steady B and, you know what I mean? I was fortunate enough to be friends with Beanie C, one of a lot of other rappers. That's how I met this guy right here, one of my mm-hmm. best friends. And I ended up being his road manager. He just took me on the road. We'd have been with Diddy, man. Hip hop is just my life. I love it, you know what I mean? You see what hip hop is today. What does hip hop mean to you? I mean, I know you fell in love with me to you, but the way it is today, like how you well, everything man and hip hop and evolved into something that you know I never would have thought that it, you know where it's at right now. You see we got the wave, the skinny jeans, mm-hmm. you know, it's not lyrical no more, you know what I'm saying? It's it's more gimmicky, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna say I'm I'm, I'm in love with original hip hop. What's going on right now is that microwave that yeah, 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 that's watered down, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I like real MCs, lyrical. Remember when you used to, you know, you were listening to somebody like, damn, you heard what he said? The metaphor is now is just ABC, one, two, three, my skinny jeans, and, you know, yeah, yeah, lollipop, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's it. Like I said, this is what is hip hop tours, man. E Ness. Cousin Elbow. Cousin Elbow. Alpac Larry. It's filled up right here. Cruise. BSP. Let's go. Let's go.